Hey guys, it's Darren at Green Pro Clean. Um, wanted to talk about mentality of window cleaners and self-employed folks. Uh, today, I set out this morning, it was grey up there, it was overcast, a light drizzle. But as I'm water-fed pole, I figured what the hell, I get out and I crack on. I got three jobs done and it was torrential downpour and it was black. It looked like Noah was going to go floating past with his boat. Uh, it was that bad. So I decided around an hour ago that I was going to call it off, head home. So uh, here I am at Casa del Darren. And uh, so I headed home and I uh, thought to myself, well, it's too early to write off the work day. So I'm going to jump on my laptop and get on with doing some work that my, uh, that my computer guy's been on about, that my web developer guy's been on about me doing for him. So I uh, started cracking on with that. And uh, as I'm sitting, uh, sitting up there, right there, looking out the office window, what do I see? I see this. Beautiful clear blue skies, a little bit of white cloud. So I've only got 11 jobs to finish up for the day. So now it's uh, just coming up, let me check my watch quickly. Coming up to half past one, I know I can get them done in three hours. So it's straight back out and straight back on it. And uh, this is the kind of mentality you need to develop if you're gonna be successful. If I get back out now and get these 11 jobs done, that's 11 jobs that I don't have to push further down the week and then start pushing jobs back and back and back. And also by getting those 11 jobs done, that's money that's coming in today, coming into the company today, coming into my pockets today, not coming in maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday, maybe next week, today. And that's the key to it. You've got to develop a, a flexible mentality. Sometimes you will get rained off, you will have the downpours, and I'm not talking about the sort of light drizzle where we can all still work, I'm talking this was literally torrential. So I thought I was written off for the day, but no, it's now back to it. So anyway, I uh, hope you find some tips, some advice that are useful in this. Any comments, drop them in the box below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Hey guys, back again for a quick addendum to that previous clip. Um, just talking to a colleague of mine, he's pointed out that somebody may be asking, uh, some of the newer guys may be asking, how much rain is too much rain to work in? And the truth of the matter is when it comes to the rain and how much is too much, is that's a, a personal preference. That's entirely down to yourself. For me, anything more than a, a steady, you know, a light rain, steady light rain, is personally too much. I don't like the discomfort of that. I'm not one for the rain. So I'll knock it off and go home. Other lads out there, other counterparts uh, around the country in this business, I know full well they will work in a monsoon quite happily. They will be out there scrubbing windows come hell or high water. Um, so at the end of the day, it's entirely down to yourself. I think uh, a safe enough guideline is when the rain is actually horizontal instead of vertical, when it's actually hitting the glass faster than you can clean the glass, then maybe it's time to consider leaving it till another day. But uh, once again, if you're happy to work in a, in a heavy downpour with the, with the right raincoat on, that's entirely down to you. But for me, I'm always in a, a light uh, neoprene top, a, a soft shell. So uh, anything that'll get this soaked through before my sweater starts to get soaked through, that's just too much. It's personal comfort choice. So I'll pack it up and knock it on the head at that point. But once again, entirely down to you. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Any comments, drop them below. Thank you very much.